How to prevent a blood clot in the legs. Today we're talking about preventing blood clots in the legs. I want you to know that it's not just old people who get blood clots in their legs and it doesn't have anything to do with age either. Here's the thing, if you have a history of DVT or PE, blood clots, then there are some things that you need to know, and one of those things is about preventing clots in the legs. Before beginning treatment for a blood clot in your leg, you need to understand your risk factors. Identifying any factors that may increase your risk will help you make a proper plan for your treatment. Your healthcare provider can recommend the use of compression stockings or medication. In addition to knowing your risks, you can take steps to lower them. Some risk factors are genetic and others can be controlled through lifestyle changes. The risk of developing a blood clot is increased by many factors, including recent injury, pregnancy, use of birth control pills, and having a family history of blood clots. Disclaimer. This content is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please consult with a physician with any questions that you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you watch in this video. We strive for 100% accuracy, but errors may occur, and medications, protocols, and treatment methods may change over time. People with these conditions are at an increased risk of developing a thrombus. A medical professional will also check your risk factors and prescribe you medicine to reduce your risk. If you're concerned about a blood clot in your leg, you should get up frequently to walk or stand. Standing for long periods will help keep blood flowing and decrease the chances of a clot. Changing your position every few hours will help prevent a clot. It's also important to stay hydrated. Intake of adequate sodium levels can help prevent a blood thrombus. And remember to follow directions carefully when using any type of anticoagulant medicine. Ensure that you know how to use it safely and that you're taking the right medication for your condition. If your doctor recommends heparin injections to prevent a clot, make sure to follow their instructions. You will receive an injection of heparin, which will dissolve the clot in the leg. The next step in preventing a thrombus in your leg is to avoid bed rest, which means raising your legs about 6 inches above your heart. In addition, you should do some exercises to keep your legs active, such as yoga, stretching, and walking. If you're traveling by air, try to take a break every hour to walk around the aisles. During a long flight, you should also do some exercises. For example, you can do calf pumps or write letters with your feet. While sitting for an extended period, it's best to take breaks during your journey. If you're traveling by car, you should take a break every half hour. Blood clots in the leg can occur at any age. If you're over 50, the risk of DVT increases with age. As you get older, you'll be more likely to experience DVTs. Symptoms of an embolism include chest pain, difficulty breathing, or swelling. If these signs occur, visit a doctor immediately. A doctor will prescribe medication and prescribe compression stockings to reduce the risk of a blood clot. If you've already had a blood clot, you should consult your doctor as soon as you notice any unusual symptoms. You may need to take a break from exercise. Your doctor can prescribe compression stockings if you have varicose veins. You should also avoid drinking beverages that dehydrate you. Alcohol and caffeine are two of the most common culprits when it comes to dehydration. The most important prevention measures for DVT are regular exercise and avoiding sedentary lifestyles. Avoiding crossing your legs and wearing compression stockings will help you to avoid blood clots in your legs. If you have a previous DVT, you should avoid sitting in aisle seats in the theater. Besides wearing compression stockings, you should avoid sleeping on your side. Changing your position regularly will also reduce the risk of developing a DVT in the future. It is important to follow all your medical appointments. Your doctor may prescribe an outpatient procedure or a hospital stay for you. In addition to medication, you should consult with your healthcare provider about your diet. Your doctor may have prescribed a special diet for you to avoid complications from DVT. While the symptoms of DVT are usually not immediately apparent, you should always follow your medical care provider's orders. It is important to be sure that you get regular blood tests and are not taking any medications without consulting your physician. 
to prevent blood clots in the legs, try to avoid sitting for long periods. If you must sit at work or on a plane, get up and walk around every 30 minutes with 10-15 deep breaths. This will help push your circulation through your body and can also reduce swelling that is caused by prolonged sitting. You should also drink plenty of water throughout the day as dehydration increases risk factors for developing blood clots too. Have any other strategies worked best for you? Share them below in the comment section.